हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट अस नाउ लर्न सम इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स अबाउट द कंजेनिटल एनोमलीज व्हिच आर सीन इन द ऑप्टिक डिस्क इफ यू सी द कंजेनिटल एनोमलीज ऑफ ऑप्टिक डिस्क वी हैव two types there are, there are many types actually one there is coloboma what is coloboma coloboma is actually there is a defect or absence of tissues or there is defective closure of embryonic disc here there is defective closure of embryonic disc so here number one there will be presence of inferior crescent okay because of defective closure there will be inferior crescent because of this inferior crescent the patient will have hypermetropia and he will also have astigmatism will be seen because of this in defect and there is also you will see presence of total excavation of optic disc will be seen okay here so it is defect in the tissue or defective it is mainly occurs due to the defective closure of embryonic disc will result in this coloboma next second anomaly is actually drusen so what do you see in drusen okay drusens are actually refractile bodies which are seen so these are actually the refractile infratapillary bodies which are seen now the question which is most commonly asked is uh where do you see these are seen on the optic disc and what is the causes these are seen in papilledema these are seen in actually early cases of early cases of glaucoma you will see then this will also lead here also there will be enlargement of blind spots will be seen in drusens okay next the next important is hypoplasia of optic disc where do you see hypoplasia of optic disc hypo is small and that means the optic disc here is small optic disc and one important thing here is in this hypoplasia of optic disc there is a sign which is called as double ring sign here there is yellowish or pigmented ring this ring is actually yellowish or pigmented ring is seen in the hypoplasia of optic disc then finally we have medullated optic disc where do you see this medullated optic disc here see normally if you see the optic fibers or myelination mainly the myelination will start from the brain and it will end till lamina cribrosa but sometimes instead of just stopping in the lamina it should stop in the lamina cribrosa but in some individuals it that is especially in medullated optic fibers it starts from the brain and ends in the optic nerve or optic disc okay because it will end in the optic disc here there will be enlargement of blind spot will be seen you will see enlargement of blind spot will be seen here and finally the last twelfth one in this topic is morning glory syndrome in the morning glory syndrome here this is actually this morning glory syndrome is actually a dysplastic condition here the problem here is the lamina cribrosa itself is absent because the lamina cribrosa is absent there will be a scleral defect which will look like a uh, resembles the flower of morning glory okay there will be a large cup and this cup is surrounded by the neuroglial tissue large cup which is surrounded by neuroglial tissue there will be large optic cup which is surrounded by neuroglial tissue this neuroglial tissue looks like a flower whereas this large optic disc will look like the middle part causing the morning glory syndrome thank you thank you and thank you for watching